All right, we're talking Baylor, Cincinnati, 32 to 29. The Bears come out a winner. Zach, uh, maybe they just need to play all their games on the road. You know, that was one of the things I asked Aranda about, you know, if, if he relishes kind of being kind of the us against them mentality and his answer very quite frankly, and the way only Dave Aranda can do it was, yeah, no, no, not at all. <laughs> so I just kind of threw that out the window. But I, I mean, I think there is some, uh, you know, they do enjoy kind of having to rally, uh, kind of lean on each other. I think there is some of that that, that goes with them, but yeah, it was a, Man, what a game. Great game. They just kind of – things looked like thing, they were going the way it has gone for Baylor where, you know, kind of like, here we go again. Baylor's going to blow this, and then they don't. So uh, I think it's a it's a good – the trend line is up. Yeah, it, and it was an interesting uh, offensive uh, strategy that they went with with just uh, an inordinate amount of passes. <laughs> Uh, they really, you know, it, it took a pretty good chunk of the game before a running back got a carry in the game. Um, but it was also working and, you know, we, we've certainly critiqued this office and criticized it plenty. And so I kind of give Baylor credit for doing something else. Yeah. I, and I, I think that that was by design, right? Not running the ball was by design since he, uh, has one of the best defensive fronts in the conference. I think the best rush defense in the conference. And, uh, you know, obviously the the wide receiver room is insanely talented, and we really haven't seen a bunch of different people break out until kind of Keytron Jackson today. We've seen Monterey Baldwin. I think he let him in uh, receptions today. So, like, I, I think that was kind of by design. They, they wanted to throw it. Uh, instead of focus on the run like they normally do. Yeah, and for me, it was kind of a resilient game for Blake Shapin. Uh, you know, solid numbers that he finishes with. Uh, one touchdown passing, one rushing. Uh, but I also felt like he he threw behind his receivers a couple of times. Uh, and so that connection wasn't always there, but he just hung tough. And, and you know, they made enough plays to win the game. And then when you talk about, uh Baylor's defense uh there was some good things you know and then obviously they also got gashed at times but again I felt like made enough plays to win uh, yeah it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for for Dave Rand for Baylor really uh you know giving up 288 yards on the ground is certainly uh something that <laughs> they're going to need to work on but again I think it's just these you know, uh, these freshmen that have been not playing like freshmen. Um, we saw Caden Jenkins make a couple plays. Uh, Carl Williams uh, had a big pass break up there at the end. Um, Corey Gordon. Uh, Corey, Corey Gordon had the, the big tackle at the very end that was could have been a pass interference. So, you know, like you said, resilient, that's a good way to put, I think he said that about Blake Shapin, but I think it can also be applied to uh, the defense where they just kind of, bent but didn't break at times even though they did get gashed like you said but uh, mm -hmm. I, think, I think it was a, again a good step forward yeah and I've also got to shout out the special teams a little bit just because uh you know there was a play I think early in the game where Josh Cameron gave him a good return uh then you know you get just a career day from Isaiah Hankins kicking the ball um, and how about, you know, how about a touchdown on special teams, you know, on a fumble, uh, return, mm -hmm. you know, that that's a big day. And, uh, you know, we always talk about what a difference maker that can be in games. It certainly was today. Absolutely. And I like Hankins is the type of guy that, you know, he's just automatic. And especially, I know I wrote about it earlier this year, he went through some struggles and, and lost his job and kind of was down in the dumps, but, you know, everything Dave Miranda says he leans on Isaiah Hankins when he needs to get a, you know, a good kind of scope of the locker room. Isaiah Hankins is the guy that Aranda goes to. So I think that says a lot about the kicker and just kind of uh, his role on the team, which is very clearly an important one after today. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, positive vibes for, for Baylor. They'll come home next week uh, for a homecoming game against Iowa State. We talked about this 
particular three game stretch for the Bears as being, you know, a chance for them to make some hay. Well, they took care of step one by beating Cincinnati. So now that you get Iowa State at home and a chance, I mean, if you get to back to four, uh, back to 500, I mean, I feel like that that's kind of a big deal. I mean, just the way the season was going. With arguably, I mean, you still got K- Kansas State on the schedule and West Virginia's looming, but, you know, you're not playing Utah and Texas again, right? So, so I think there's uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of optimism. I you know I'm, I'm always that guy. That's just who <laughs> no, I it's that, uh, I think there's <laughs> there's reason for it. Uh, I thought you know I mean they they showed some good things today, and uh, you know they were they were desperate for a win and they got a win. So um, you know it, it got I'm like you said it got a little uh, oh here we go again kind of you know nerve wracking I'm sure for a lot of Baylor fans, but uh, ultimately it's a win and you'll take that. So um, yeah, cool. Uh, two other things to sure. one other stat. Uh, I know it was a big thing earlier in the season. Baylor was four for four in red zone scoring chances today. You know, and I know sometimes you need to, you know, to, mm-hmm. to consistently win, you got to, you know, take the field goals and make them touchdowns, but still four for four in red zone scoring chances. That's, that's a good thing. And then there was some shuffling uh, along the offensive line. Colton Price stepped in. It was his first ever start. He had made, I think they said, two other appearances uh, on the offensive line just this year. Uh, redshirt freshman um, uh, Clark Barrington shifted over to guard. Campbell Barrington at the other guard. So there was some shuffling around on the offensive line. And Blake Shapen was very positive, as was Aranda, about kind of how they performed and, and kind of the the grit and toughness that uh, Colton brings and, and Clark. It was very interesting. I'll, I'm sure I'll write about it maybe next week, the offensive line. And just, you know, I think he called uh, uh, Clark as, as the center. Clark is the dad. As the guard, he's the big brother. And so he can be a little bit more rough and tumble. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's a good, uh, you know, very philosophical Dave Aranda thought. So. I'm sure yeah, we'll and, I, <laughs> and it was good. It was good to see the O line play like they did because I mean I called them out last game. I did not think it was uh, it was just really a woeful performance against Texas Tech and and uh, yeah I mean I just didn't didn't think they performed very very well. Kind of called them out by name, <laughs> uh, but they uh, they stepped up today and like you said, I mean Colton that he was playing center. Right, he was at center, yeah, and then Clark was at uh, guard with the Barrington guards. Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. You no, know, maybe that's a a look that'll work for them going forward. We'll see. Uh, they still had, you know, they, they still had their moments too. There was a couple false starts in there, but uh, you know, but at the same time, I mean, what you want to see is progress and improvement, and I think certainly that was the case today. So, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Well, uh, enjoy the rest of your stay in Cincinnati as you travel back to Texas tomorrow. Uh, have you had the skyline? Nope. That's that's tonight's. That's on the docket. All right. Tonight. You got to let us know how that skyline chili. Skyline and a, and a brewery, maybe. I, yeah. I think soccer's out of the question at this point, but that's okay. We'll be back. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Enjoy. We'll see you. All right.